You have seen recently that 114 members of Congress just sent a letter to President Biden asking for more humane policy towards Cuba. And the reason they did that was because of how all of us together organized. Civil society groups, advocates, constituents, we all came together for weeks and emailed and called and insisted that cruel Trump era policies and sanctions be overturned. It says he should lift restrictions on sending humanitarian aid, that Cuban Americans should be allowed to send remittances to their family members, that we should be able to travel to Cuba, that the embassies should be restaffed, and that Cuba should be taken off the terrorist list. We went after everybody who was in the Progressive Caucus. We went, went after members of the Congressional Black Caucus. And it worked. 114 members, half of the House Democratic Caucus, agreed with us. And they're demanding that their own president reverse a failed policy track. Biden has been uh, pushing this policy of strangling the Cuban economy, maximum pressure. It's basically the policy of Trump. And we said we want to get Congress to show that we want a normalization of relations with Cuba. So we worked hard. We went after all the members of the Democratic Party in Congress and we achieved results. That was only possible because of you and me and so many others that decided to spend weeks calling and emailing and being relentless and not letting up. When it feels like it's really hard to break through those halls of power, that you're not gonna have any influence, that your voice is gonna be dismissed, know that that is not true. And this is proof of that. This people's victory is proof of that. So I'm calling on President Biden, who I voted for, um, to act to stop allowing the Trump policies to control his administration, to act on behalf of the U.S. Americans, the majority who are calling on this administration, the 114 congressional members who are calling on this administration, and to the 11 million people on the island of Cuba who are calling on this U.S. administration to act, act in a humane way, act in a way that saves lives, act in a way that actually cares about diplomacy with neighbors that are 90 miles off our coast. So President Biden, please listen, read the letter from the 114 congressional members, listen to and to the Cuban people and to the U.S. people who are asking you to act in a humane way. We hope that Biden will listen to the voice of the majority of Democrats who represent the majority of the American people saying it's time to normalize relations with Cuba. 114 members is unprecedented. We need you. Your voice is important. Don't give up.